So first of all, thank you. Thank you, truckers. I believe, like the little saying goes, if you got it, a truck brought it. How true, how true. It's being completely ignored by mainstream media, and I think you'll know why by the end of this. Uh, so we've got some info here from the Daily Wire on what's going on in Canada right now. A massive convoy of trucks currently crossing Canada, which is protesting against vaccine mandates for truckers at the Canada-US border, as well as drivers being forced to wear masks in trucks, may prove to be the longest truck convoy ever recorded. The truckers hope to make it to Ottawa, Canada's capital, by Saturday to stage their protest. If the convoy holds together, it could be 10 times larger than the world record, the Sun noted, pointing out that Guinness states the trucks are coming from all over, and some estimates have speculated 10,000 trucks could compromise the convoy. So the, the longest uh, convoy of trucks that's ever happened before uh, was from Egypt a couple years ago. This looks like it's gonna be much, much bigger than that. And actually, let's uh, show you some video. This is, over, this is video of over 50,000 Canadian truckers forming a caravan. Wow, this is a huge, look at they go forever. This is by Atchison outside of Edmonton, heading to Calgary, January 23rd. More than trucks, lots of cars and trucks. Very impressive. Goes on forever. This is seriously extraordinary stuff. You guys know this. Canadians aren't outspoken. When's the last time you were somewhere and it was like, those Canadians won't shut up. You know, when's the last time a Canadian got into a fight? Like you have to push a Canadian really far. There's not a lot of them. They have a huge amount of space. It's kind of chilly up there. Like, you know, they're usually kind of funny, pleasant people. Like they have pushed Canadians far enough, 50 thousand truckers forming this caravan. It's, it's absolutely extraordinary. The amount of people on the roads and it's cold out there. So people out there bringing kids, waving flags. Uh, you it's not like the CBC says a couple of dozen trucks. It is a lot of trucks and it's a lot of people. And if you don't believe it, CBC, welcome to Ottawa this weekend. And let's see what you're gonna think. I think right now you can't hide it anymore. I think right now the government just can't look no matter which way they look because they're coming from the east, they're coming from the west, they're coming from the north, and they're coming from the south. They're coming in from everywhere. This you can't deny. The whole world is watching. How do you feel about groups like the Trudeau government unfairly labeling this a white supremacist movement? That's that, that's ridiculous. It's absolutely it's sickening, ridiculous. right? It's ridiculous. The first thing about it is that Canada just doesn't like to come out of, Canadians don't like to come out of support as other countries do, you know? So for me to be here with my people here too, it's like, it, it, it's, not, it's a diverse community. It's Canada. Absolutely. We're, we're in Canada. Yeah. So Canada is multicultural. So for him to even think this and say it's a supremacist or whatever, I couldn't agree with it because look at me right here. It was a supremacist thing, people would be stoning, calling. I wouldn't be getting the love like I'm getting right here. Damn right, man. It's about freedom, it's That's about brotherhood. It. That's it, bro. We're Canadians. Damn right. Right on, man. Stand Stand together. together. Woo! This is what it's about. Yes. Community. I have seen here today, this isn't a white supremacist thing, but if you're gonna label it that, you're gonna make actual white supremacist groups way more powerful, and that's not how you're supposed to do that. Absolutely.
everybody, this is it. This is the call to action from the Truckers Convoy. January 29th, open your businesses, no mandates, take off your mask, reject this entire pandemic, stand with your truckers, and let's get our freedoms back. They're heading to Ottawa right now. There's close to a million people that are going to be there, and they're not leaving until the government rescinds these mandates and gives us our freedoms back. Now it's all up to you guys to do your part, and your part is take off that face diaper, open your business, reject the vaccine passport and all the other mandates, and just start living life like normal, like the UK, like Ireland, like all these other countries that have already stepped up and just said no to these ridiculous mandates. Everybody support your truckers, support the convoy, support freedom. If you walk into a grocery store and you see products on the shelves, thank a trucker. If you walk into a grocery store and you see empty shelves, thank Justin Trudeau. Everybody support your truckers, support the convoy, support freedom and Trudeau. You can keep hiding, keep running. That's all you're fucking good for. Um, it's clear that they have, that Justin Trudeau and these authoritarian lunatics, they've ignited something. They've ignited the spirit of freedom in Canada. And this is good. And speaking of good, let's talk about bad. Here's Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. We know the way through this pandemic is by getting everyone vaccinated. And the overwhelming majority, close to 90% of Canadians have done exactly that. The small fringe minority of people who are on their way to Ottawa or who are uh, holding unacceptable uh, views uh, that they're expressing do not represent the views of Canadians who have been there for each other, who know that following the science and stepping up to protect each other is the best way to continue to ensure our freedoms, our rights, our values as a country. Of 50,000 truckers and all of their supporters, which never happens in Canada, nothing like this, uh, they're a fringe minority, right? Uh, he also says that, you know, these unvaxxed people, basically they're to blame for the pandemic. And it's just like, absolute nonsense. What this all started with also was the fact that these truck drivers just didn't want to wear masks while they were in their trucks alone. These people are just absolutely awful. I think we have a little more video from uh, one of the caravans, right? Years old tomorrow and I just wanted to say best birthday gift ever having you guys fighting for us. I am so glad for you truckers. You rock. Hi, my name is Matthew. I'm 12 years old and I'm from Alberta and I just want to say you guys are awesome. Keep on trucking. Good night, truckers. Thank you. To see you in Canada, truckers. I got a little guy here that wants to say something to the truckers. Thank you, truckers. Hi, my name is Matt. I'm six. I'll go truckers. Have a good night. God bless. Hello, I'm Talia. I'm 10 years old. I come from Manitoba. I just wanted to thank you guys for what you did. I'm praying for you. I love you guys. Hi, my name is AJ, and I'm eight years old, and I would just like to say thank you for all you guys do. My mom Small fringe minority, small fringe minority. The kids you're listening to there, obviously, uh, their folks are having them call in often on CB radio just to offer guys some support as they're getting out there. These are good, decent, freedom-loving people. These are not racists. These are not people with fringe views. They don't like Trudeau. They don't like authoritarianism. They don't like mandates. And God bless you guys and anything I can do to help. I want to mention something else. It's nothing new. It's nothing new that a pastor a preacher faces the government. That has always happened in history. Moses faced Pharaoh, Daniel faced the king, and on and on, the apostles of the morning time faced King Herod and others. They have always had to do that. Now is our time, now is our time. I thank God that I can be on the right side of history. Now, a word to those, all of us, that are on our way to Ottawa. Keep focused. Don't allow 
anything to distract you. Don't allow anyone to provoke you or aggravate you because the oppressors will infiltrate. They will send people right into our midst for the sole purpose of trying to aggravate, trying to provoke, because they want to smear this freedom convoy. These are freedom-loving Canadians that are having a peaceful, non-violent, constitutional protest, well within the confines of the Constitution. Today we got news of another record-breaking inflation report. 4.8%, the highest inflation since 1991. 300 trillion cubic feet of natural gas among the biggest reserves on earth. We source that here too. And in terms of gas prices, we have the third biggest reserves of oil on planet earth. In other words, the biggest increases for consumer products have been those that we source right here at home, not those that depend on foreign supply chain. In case you didn't know, truckers on the web that weaves our supply chain together. If you take a look within a three foot radius of yourself, I can guarantee you that you're gonna find something that's brought to you by a trucker. If you feel you can't find anything, just look at the device you are watching Quick Take on. It was brought to you by a trucker. Now commercial trucks are combinations of big engines, complex air systems, drivetrain components, specialty trailers, and on average weigh about 46 and a half thousand kilograms. Now, if you have a hard time wrapping your head around what 46 and a half thousand kilograms looks like, it would be equal to seven and a half elephants, three F-18 Hornets, 341 John Candies, 302 Jan Ardens, or $4.5 billion in $100 bills, which conveniently is the amount of debt that Justin Trudeau plunges Canada farther into every 10 fucking days. But if you're a hardworking trucker, vaccinated or not, who has done nothing but your job, and you're tired of carbon taxes, being underpaid, Looking at the disaster the commercial trucking industry in Canada has turned into along with every other industry in Canada at the hands of Justin Trudeau and are peacefully exercising your right not only to protest but to give thousands of Canadians who feel the same way a reason to go outside, wave a Canadian flag and light off a couple of fireworks and feel good about Canada for the first time in years, then by all means, roll on good buddy. Uh, what a critical time we are in right now. This, it doesn't matter how um, our government looks at it. It doesn't matter what CBC thinks. It's just a huge thing. And no doubt about it. It's massive. Uh, when you have five million going on five and a half million dollars coming in and it's just pouring in, has never stopped ever since it started. Uh, you better believe that there is massive support. Now, if you haven't seen it, uh, watch as they go through towns and cities, intersections, just loaded with people and they're braving minus 29 uh, degrees Celsius weather. These truckers are going hundreds, thousands of miles, sacrificing their time with their family. This is historical. This is an epic week for Canada. And I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that God has something in mind what he wants to do this and is already doing that.